Today on the Stay at Home Chef, we're having a little St. Patrick's Day fun with corned beef and cabbage grilled cheese. This is a fun, easy way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with a grilled cheese twist on the classic corned beef and cabbage. This is also great if you actually make the corned beef and cabbage traditional American St. Patrick's Day meal and have leftovers. Since I'm not using leftovers today though, I'm going to start by sauteing up some cabbage. Just add a head of chopped cabbage to a quarter cup of melted butter and season it with salt and pepper. Let this cook over medium heat until the cabbage is tender, which takes about seven to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, butter the outside pieces of two slices of rye bread if you can find it, or you can use just regular artisan bread or whatever bread you have. Then we're gonna start compiling our sandwich, and I like to use layers of cheese on this and use shredded cheese, because it helps bind everything together and keep the sandwich from falling apart. You can really use whatever cheese you'd like for this, and I like cheddar. Then I'm gonna add on some sliced corned beef from the deli, or you can use leftovers. Just layer that on. I like it to be nice and meaty. And add another layer of cheese to help bind it. And then we're gonna add on some of that sauteed cabbage. Get a nice spoonful on there. Then a little more cheese to bind it all together, and we'll get this cooking. I like to cook my grilled cheese in a nonstick skillet over medium low heat. The low heat allows the bread to toast slowly so that the cheese on the inside has time to melt. I place the bottom piece down first, and then the top piece. It'll take a couple of minutes, but once the bottom piece is a nice toasty brown, carefully flip over your sandwich. It helps if the cheese has already started to melt when you go to flip it. Let it cook on the other side until the other piece of bread is nice and toasty as well, and the cheese on the inside is completely melted. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.